Aaron Feist was gunned down protecting students in Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. 25-year-old Devin Kondaki played football at the school and loved the coach who he called his mentor and who he described as a great father for his daughter Ariel, who's now eight years old, and a person who touched thousands of students during his tenure there. In the last day of his life, I guess he showed who he really was, you know, a man who cared about the students there, because I felt it, and uh, somebody who uh, put others before himself, and I think that's the, uh, that's why I want, you know, Indy to know. There have been 18 school shootings so far this year, 18 and 45 days. That's an average of one every 60 hours. Those numbers are a call to action, says a spokeswoman for Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Legislators are on notice. I know that our legislators are hearing the calls from their constituents, and I know that they're feeling the heat. And right now, it's just really important that we continue to pick up the phone and call our elected representatives and let them know that the status quo is not good enough, that we know that there's things that we can do, and we expect them as our representatives to take action. It's not time for thoughts and prayers. It's time for policy change and action. What about an assault rifle ban? There was a ban from 1994 to 2004. That measure expired. It appears the AR-15 style rifle used in the school attack was purchased legally. Firearms instructor and attorney Guy Relford is against a return to the ban. So I think the, the focus ought to be on prevention, not on uh, passing one more law that clearly someone intent on murdering school children isn't gonna mind breaking. While the merits of those arguments will be debated, Kandaki, who's now an author of children's books here in Indianapolis, wants to make sure Coach Feist is not forgotten. Kandaki played football at Hanover College, Vice President Mike Pence's alma mater. Today he tweeted the VP asking that he honor the fallen coach. Derek Thomas, RTV6.